Good morning. Day two of my fast. And the sun is coming up. Exciting, right? Just a little bit before seven o'clock here on the East Coast. And we're in Southwest Florida. Yeah. I'm gonna take a little walk here and uh, just show you the scenery, the sunrise. It's just very beautiful. Now yesterday, I had a 45 minute session with the fellow who's accompanying me on the fast, my six day fast. And the reason why that's important is because we started our fasts at the same time and this guy does these fasts as a practice much more than, than I do. He does it because uh, there's various reasons, but I think that my takeaway from yesterday's meeting, we did a a face-to-face uh, -face video on WhatsApp. And my takeaway was that he does it more for, well, there's various reasons, but one of the biggest reasons was he does it more for like a, just a reset for his, body and spiritual side of it too so I thought that was very interesting and exciting and it's sort of up my alley too uh, now when I wanted to cover fasting in my protocol for my uh, putting together a little mini course on my cancer fighting protocol that I do I initially wanted something somebody to speak to like the you know, the benefits of fasting for the body and just, you know, general stuff. Stuff that you can get off. Wow, spectacular sunrise. Let's go look. See you come up there? It's like, ooh, yeah. Like fire coming through there. Mm, I like it. You know, I mean, everybody has their timelines of fasting. It was, it's kind of funny because on social media, you'll see somebody come through with a timeline for fasting. Like, you know, first you experience this, and then 72 hours in, you're into autophagy, and then, you know, 48 hours, you do this, and your body does this, and you're, um, you know, taking care of your immune cells, and... <laughs> I mean, your immunity in your body, you know, repairing this and that. And then everybody kind of replicates the same thing and just puts their name on it. But, you know, we need to get that information out. But when I ran into this fellow from Sydney, Australia, he just brought like a totally different viewpoint into fasting. Like, let's look at it from another angle. Like, what's it doing to your body more than physically? you know, your mindset change. And the reason he got into it, because you had a lot of addictions and stuff going on, you know, and it, gets, it just came to a point where he had to go, you know, put his foot down and say, I got to change or I'm going to die. He said he was, he knew that if he kept going, that he would be even suicidal. And so he did a good thing. Look at that. Almost as pretty as our sunsets. I don't say it's as pretty as our sunsets. It's so beautiful. Don't want to take away any beauty from anything here. Mm. And I know I'm not beautiful, but I want to address you. So, there are other benefits, too, that we talked about. Um, just interesting things that you wouldn't really think about when you're fasting. Look at this boat here. Oh yeah. It's Saturday, so people are, you know, doing Saturday type things. They walk back. Because what we're gonna do today is go to the farmer's market and I wanna see if I can get some orchids 
What I have found is these guys that sell the big orchid plants, sometimes they have the scrawny rundown orchids with no flowers over on the side for five bucks a piece. And I wanted to take a handful of them and tie them up in the trees around my property because I know they'll come back, you know, especially living in this paradise. And uh, come on, $5? That's cheap. So I have a list of things. I don't know how I'm going to get to it. Um, let me see here because I got my coffee in one hand, my phone in the other hand. And I scrawled them on a piece of post-it note paper. Hang on just a sec, guys. It's going to be one of those days um, that... Can you see the clouds up there? That usually means when this doesn't clear off this uh, late in the morning from overnight that we're going to have like a partly cloudy day. And usually means, and this has nothing to do with anything, but I just think it's an interesting observation usually means that the temperature right now is probably going to rise a little bit, but this is going to be the temperature throughout the day. Right around lower 80s here in the United States to mid 80s. Probably won't get in the 90s with this cloud cover here. All right, so here's the list. One of the first things he said is, I, I gotta, man, I just got to write that down. It's just crazy good. He said, you got to be an expert of your own body. Isn't that great? Be an expert of your own body. And I tell you guys this all the time, especially when we're talking about any kind of disease like cancer or, you know, maybe diabetes or if you have any kind of other disease that's plaguing you, you know, something that you've really worked hard at changing. It's you, right? I told him, yeah, I go to the oncologist, and although he likes me a lot, he's not going to sit and do tons of research into, like, alternative things, or what else can we find out about this disease? Nope. Check my mailbox while I'm here. No, so you got to take, you got to be responsible for you. It's like being your own, I call it advocate, you know? Self-advocacy. So important. Even though I doubt there's anything in the mailbox because I checked it late last night. It's just a fun thing to do, right? Maybe there's something in there. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, one thing I noticed, you know, we talked about the quality uh, of, of, of doing a great fast. You need to uh, either do a water fast, which is just drinking water, or... You need to do a fast that's like a juice fast, maybe, or a... Is that, is that beautiful? <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? Isn't it beautiful? Or you need to do some kind of um, a fast that includes something else. So we're talking... The kind of fast I'm doing is called a water fast, even though I'm drinking coffee here, right? But it's a water fast, and uh, I, I add in my day electrolytes, potassium citrate and salt, like a half teaspoon of salt, and that's it. And he said, Dave, make sure that you get the highest quality water that you can, and make sure that you get water that's alive. And I go, water that's alive? He said, yeah, get spring water, you know, water from springs. So I said, okay, they must have delivery around here of spring water because the state of Florida is just sitting on all kinds of under, underwater springs. You know, the water table here is like pretty, uh, real, real close to the uh, ground table. You know, it's like really close to the surface. So these things of talking about spring springs here, and every, there's so many towns here called something springs. You know, so yeah, spring water is really easy to get here. So I'm going to look into that. I did started yesterday, but there's some places online that just, you know, you got to be careful because they charge like a lot of money for delivery of water and other places not so much. So I'm going to try to get some recommendations from friends. 
Now here's something I thought that was really interesting too, and this is what attracted me to his way of doing a fast. Is he said, during the fast, you have to feel love for the whole body. Like every cell during your fast, you feel love. Isn't that crazy good? That's what we should do. We're looking for, during your fast, you're looking for a healing. You know, you want those cells to heal. And you need to be in love with your, with your body anyway. And you need to just like take deep thought while you're going through this fasting process and think, gosh, you know, this is an incredible, incredible, incredible thing, my body. And it can heal itself given the right circumstances. And I'm doing my part to give it the right circumstances. Certainly a fast is doing your body very, very good. Now, here's something interesting. I never heard about this is when you're going through hunger pains, this is day two of the fast, right? So we're gonna have some hunger pains today, probably, I think so. And when you're going through that kind of stuff, he said to do breathing exercises, which I never thought about, you know? But do breathing exercises like deep belly breaths, and you guys know what that is, a belly breath. A breath that where your belly rises, you know, not your chest. And then let it out slowly, very slowly, through a, you know, your mouth making that like sort of like a whistling, very slow, like that, okay? And then do, he said, do about five of those. He said it should take three minutes, so that's slow, and that will make the hunger pains go away. Who knew, right? And then the last thing is, I don't know, this is something that I'm not a big fan of, but I know it's healthy for you. He said to take cold showers. <laughs> I know that's healthy. I've tried it before. But he said, okay, what you do is you get to a point where you're, you know, taking your shower. And then toward the end of the shower, you turn the water to colder, colder until you get it uncold. He said, let it hit the back of your head, run down your spine. And if that's all you can take, that's all you can take for that day. Next time around, you know, try to get one shoulder in and then the other side, you know, and work in, in threes, you know, back and shoulder and shoulder. And then the next day, maybe your face and then your chest and then the other, yeah, like that. So I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens and, uh, you know, I'll let you know. <laughs> It's one of those kind of things. But it's, um, you know, it, it doesn't sound fun. But it is very beneficial. Why? I said, why? He said, because it builds up resilience. You know, you want that resilience in the body. Matter of fact, his fasting course, if you could call it that, is called Resilience. And uh, so far, day one with him has just been super incredible. So I'm excited to... You know, we're going to do it every day. We're going to have a session, a one-on-one. -on -one. What a coach, right? And this is going to be so good. So, and I'm going to let you in on all the things that he says and, um, you know, the updates that he gives to me. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm flicking away notifications. Oh, gosh. So, um right now I'm going to go to I'm going to get in the car I'm going to go to the um, the farmer's market on 3rd street see if they have any of those orchids and I'll let you know about that too thanks for joining me here on this live and of course I'm going to post it to the IGTV series on fasting and uh, hopefully you learned something with this let me know in the comments of any if any of this has been beneficial to you I want to bring value to this Instagram channel and uh, wherever else this video gets posted, okay? Value, that's the thing. Yeah, take care. And we'll see you soon.